and I've configured these to I've configured these to run um, run on waste oil too, so you can actually bum them these on waste oil. It's like this paper's treated with flame retardant or something. Yeah. <laughs> but it's always it's always the way, you know. You put on spot, got a lot of fires yeah, yeah. like it won't. So what you'll see, interestingly, what you'll see is without me doing anything, the fire will suddenly spontaneously start to go around the corner. Yeah, it's in this bunker. Yeah. Like it just has. Mm. And we just gotta to get to the point where we ignite the small stuff, which will kick the big stuff off. Usually I'll probably use a lot more kindling, but that's stuff that was sitting in there from the APC. Oh, look, we've got a buddy fire bug here. Yeah. <laughs> there's one I in every crowd. I saw it first. I think there's a lot in every crowd. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, sorry. It'll probably be I'm sure it will be damp. Of course, these aren't magic. And that means that if the wood's wet, it ain't going to burn properly anyway. Over the years, and this is basically that would sit up on top. Um, so this is our feed tube. I've got fire bricks in here, and that's simply to withstand the, uh, the rigors of people sticking sticks in there because the actual main incident is almost like foam. You can see all this damage here. There's people going, oh, it's soft. So it's actually quite soft. This actually lives out in the yard, so it gets rained on, it gets beat up severely. But anyway, so um, yeah, so we put our fuel in and basically as it burns, it lowers itself down into the fire. So the bottom's made out of bricks in common is that they either won't last very long or they're uh, for some sort of camping or sort of light use like that.